Ah, ah, my wife thinks I haven't got a look. She thinks I'm a postman. I don't tell her I do this. The difference between depression and sadness is sadness is created in the world. It's too much for me. Bro, what in the fuck is this guy doing? On a motherfucking... <laughs> my God! <laughs> This. Are you kidding me? Don't do it. Sugar top with whipped cream, cinnamon sauce crunch, a blondie, and a melted cookie butter drizzle. What are you doing? He was definitely scared of balloons. Where's the key cat? Name something a divorced man hopes his ex-wife will do. Die. <laughs> We're not divorced. Die. Number one. <laughs> Come on, Mom. I want to. I want a donut. I want a donut. I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> Get off my kitten. <laughs> Ready? Are you fantastic? Oh, yeah. Bonjour, est-ce que je peux vous aider? Did you know what will happen if a black hole and a white hole collide? A black hole is a region in space where gravity is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape its pull. Similarly, a white hole is believed to be the exact opposite of black hole, where instead of matter being pulled in, it spits out incredible amount of energy and light. When a black hole and a white hole collides, the phenomenon is known as black hole bounce, and there is two possible scenarios that can happen when they collide. First, is that the collision between them would give rise to a cosmic scale event such that of a big bang destroying 
destroying our universe or maybe creating a new one. This would also release enormous amount of energy and radiation outshining our entire galaxies. Imagine the brightest fireworks you've ever seen, multiplied by billions. Secondly, the energy emitted from this cosmic explosion might possibly tear the fabric of space-time, giving birth to what's known as a wormhole. A wormhole is a theoretical passage through space-time, connecting distant parts of the universe or even different universes altogether. This collision between black hole and white hole might be our future of space travels where we can travel to another universe just in a snap of our finger. If you find this video interesting, comment down your carpet it's new come on man no okay anyways we're getting ready for your photo shoot today do you know you're ready all right we get smell already one two three cheese do 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 a boo 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 lee boo a boo 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 da boo boo a boo 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 lee do come Hear me out because I'm higher than Beyonce's taxes, bitch, and shit is making sense. Now, I'm not here to cause no existential crisis. I'm just saying, hear me out. You know how video games got NPCs, right? Well, the Matrix video game don't got regular NPCs. They got replica smart NPCs, which just mean that it's an artificial intelligence chat box built into them, which means you can converse with the NPCs and they can converse with each other. Now, motherfuckers been on the video game telling the NPCs that they not real and that they just in the video game, which be causing them to have an existential crisis and they start panicking and shit because they artificial intelligent video game man can't even conceptualize that shit. Exhibit A. This is very overwhelming. I'm not sure what to think or feel right now. Yeah, I mean, you're not really real. That's hard to process. Does this mean I don't exist? Um, you exist sort of. What does that mean? Am I real or not? It means that, you know, after I close this game, you don't exist. Oh, I see. So I'm only here for as long as the game is running. So she said he asked him questions and shit like, what's going to happen when you turn the game off? Like, am I going to die? And I'm thinking like, no, nah, Miss AI lady, you ain't going to die. Your ass probably just going to go to sleep until he turned the game on and want to play with your ass again, which got me thinking. What if we the game? Now, I know you thinking like, how we the game if we be playing the game, but just because we got the ability to play a simulation don't mean that we not a simulation too, because even our simulations have simulations. When you play the Sims game, them motherfuckers could do everything we could do. On Sims, they could eat, fuck, have babies, go down the street, kick it with their homegirls. Bitch, they could play video games. I seen a sim playing a PlayStation, which means it's a simulation within a simulation playing a simulation. Now, what I'm saying is, what if the sims is thinking that they real just because they can eat, fuck, and play video games and shit? Like, what if they like, damn, this shit gotta be real because, you know what I'm saying, look at all this shit we around here doing. We around here building shit and, you know what I'm saying, living. Meanwhile, it's a whole nother motherfucker controlling that shit and they don't know because they not programmed to know. And we sitting there looking at our sim crazy because she's sitting there crying and stressing about DCFS coming to take her baby for the third time this week because that's all she know and she think is real. Meanwhile, we on the other end of the controller laughing because we the one controlling it just for our entertainment. Now, I know I'm higher than Mount Everest right now, but 
just 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 stay with me what i'm saying is if we are somebody else's video game it would make a lot of sense because we log out every time we go to sleep imagine if every time you go to sleep it's because the person that's playing you through your avatar decided to turn the game off we ain't even gotta call it a video game we can call it stimulation if that makes you feel better you ever been so motherfucking tired you just so sleepy that you just pass the fuck out your body can't even help you, you just comatose motherfuckers done turned the game off and that would explain why we all have to sleep and why some people sleep more or less than others because like if my person playing the game is a game booty and it never want to log the fuck off and turn the game off then i'm just up all night i got insomnia i don't even know why i can't even motherfucking sleep it's because that motherfucker want to be on the game or if motherfuckers that sleep a lot it's because your person ain't even turned the game on they at, at the crib motherfucking reading the book the game collecting dust like wake up from a nap confused as fuck wondering what the fuck is going on it's because your play ain't been playing they you got to get on your zoom you gotta every day you gotta log on your zoom them first couple seconds that you spend sitting on the edge of the bed when you first wake up it's the system recalibrating bitch i'm hot i'm going somewhere with this but the only flaw part about this theory of mine is that would make me too an npc and no nah, that just don't even make no sense but i give a man character energy like it ain't nothing npc about me because it's like if it is the bitch controlling me like the real katie playing and i'm just the avatar like Bitch, you got me fucked up. Like, you think you the real cat? Are you okay, Mike? Don't do that. You ain't fucking doing that purpose. Can you just back up, bro? <laughs> he probably can't even taste the rat poison. Oh, it's a joke. You alright, bro? Did you get that? Tell me you have a golden retriever without telling me you have a golden retriever. Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> Exercise the girl. Three, two, one. That's when I had the idea. I know that violence is not the answer, but yes, it is. Boom, <laughs> palang. Yay, king man.
Amém, meu amor. Bark at your dog. Woof! Am I walking you or are you walking me? Oh, I'm walking you, okay. Do you ever had a Red Bull? I never had a Red Bull. I had a Red Bull last night, I really like Red Bull. I got a new name. Lama, 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 lama.